Well, tonight in a world premiere, four of New Zealand's most respected musical revolutionaries will examine the poetry, politics and relationships that have spun the wheels and turntables of generations. And we have the four stars of the show, Revolutions, here with us to tell us all about it. Welcome to the cafe, Moana Maniopoto, Warren Maxwell, Rob Ruha and John Tuglin. Yeah! What a line an absolute lineup. Um, Moana, I want to start with you because I kept, kept trying to quiz you beforehand. You say, wait, wait till we're, wait till we're on air talking about it. <laughs> but bossy, eh? Yeah. Sorry. Tell me, so tell me about the show. What's it all about? Well, Carla uh, Van Zon, who is the um, artistic director for um, the Auckland Arts Festival, was in San Francisco at the end of the 60s, which was quite a revolutionary time. You know, there was the um, Vietnam War protests, American Indian movement, Black Panthers, feminist movement. So she was inspired by the fact that music was used very much to capture the spirit of those times. So she and Tama Waipara, another um, friend of ours who's a musician, came up with the idea of kind of bringing together songwriters whose music makes a statement mm. and to see, uh, for, help us identify what a legacy message is that we feel. I went to Calibre, yeah. I went to that, their dance school when I was a kid. Yeah. Just, just the Van Zons. And, yeah. and how did you go? Uh, pretty well. I can yes. still do my jazz ballet <laughs> turns and everything. Um, but what a lineup. I mean, how did they decide to, on you for? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. John! Well I, well, I mean, we actually have all met each other uh, along the way. We never played music together, but we all, um, we all know Tama Waipara. Yeah. Mm. And I think he just went, I've worked with all these people, and I reckon they'll be awesome together. Let's throw them together and see what happens. So it's a little bit of a gamble, but I think he, it was a really smart move because, mm. honestly, the rehearsals have been s the most creative thing I've been involved in for years. Wow. You know, it's like... Because so we're literally taking giving five songs of our own each and then going through and going, right, we've got to deconstruct this and make right. it work with these four people yeah. and voices and how do we do that? And it's been just, it's been amazing. Yeah, it's just been amazing. No, well, thank you for explaining that because I was going to say, okay, so what's different about your normal, I guess, performance of the song? Because you're right, I mean, Warren, you've been involved with so many different bands, you know, revolutionary bands, I would say, and there's always messages behind music. Mm -hmm. Is this a great way to strip it back and actually make people listen a bit more intently? Yeah, well, I love this, this particular kind of format, you know, it just, it's more intimate, so... For me, it's, it's, it kind of means that the lyrics get through uh, right. and kind of, you know, you job. can connect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it, it's the more kind of acoustic thing, but there's an energy there, you know, and especially I'd imagine in the Spiegel tent, it'll be just a beautiful kind of mm. experience. It will be Amazing incredible. So, yeah. so, Rob, so did you basically just throw all your songs oh. into, a, into a pit and sort of shuffle them round and pluck them out? Is that yeah, how it Yeah, well, I think more than that, what we did was we, sh we shared with each other the bones and the DNA of the song. Mm. So the messaging that's inside the songs, and, and we used those as the springboard or the platform um, to create the presentations mm -hmm. that we're going to be creating tonight in the Spiegel tent. Mm. And, and Moana, when you sat back and listened, to what the boys were doing and you know you were listening to the messages was there a common theme in music is there always a common theme oh i think that, that these um, men are uh, just as stroppy as, as myself <laughs> <laughs> and so i can relate to that nice uh, but I, I it was fascinating because as as rob says you really get to the guts of the song and um we listened to the lyrics, we listened to the layers, we, we, got to, we got to learn the songs and know them and understand the messaging behind it. And I'm just like really thrilled because I'm making my debut Jinga Jit guitar performance. <laughs> yes. And I'm playing guitar to Warren Maxwell yeah, playing flute. Know, yeah. wow. Flash, how's wow. that? Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> but everyone, everyone has got their own voice. Like mm. Rob's voice is a very... I mean, I'm not just talking about the physical voice, I'm talking about the... <laughs> The songwriter's voice. It's um, everyone's got a very distinct voice, and so it's, it's really amazing to hear them all come together and find the synergy, but also the differences. Yeah, such incredible musicians. We are so lucky to have all four of them here on the day that their gig is debuting. Uh, I tell you what, there's so much to get through, so much to talk about. Time is running out, so we'll take a quick break. We'll come back very soon. Give you all the details of this world premiering gig in just a minute. John, I wanted to start with you. What song? What, what's one of the songs that you're doing? 
Um, I chose a song off the last She Had record, which is called Five Eyes, and it's a song called The Great Divide, which is basically dealing with... Um, um, oh, it's dealing with the uh, divide between rich and poor, which mm. seems to be growing mm. as we go along. And um, But on the She Had record, it's just a wall of sound, you know, it's like goes and goes. But with this, it's like we get to break it down, start really small, and then have these guys come and sing with me in the chorus. And yesterday, yeah, yesterday when we were doing it, I was just like, it was great. It was just spine tinglingly good. It's Better than she had. <laughs> <laughs> just, just so different. Well, I mean, the message comes through, I think, Lyra, and also for me, it's just like the melody is like, wow, with all these amazing voices singing behind me, with you know, just with me. It's like that song's just beautiful. It must now. be incredible. I hear a whole different take on the way your songs sound. Sure, right? yeah. uh, every single song we've done of everybody's is just. Been mm. magic, I've got to say. Okay, well, yeah. let's find out a bit more about that, Rob. I'm going to come to yeah. you. I mean, you know, I've won numerous awards. Um, one of the most incredible, powerful haka soul musicians Ooh. around as well. Uh, do you do any haka in this? Oh, a uh, little bits and pieces in, in some of Moana's songs. Nice. Yeah, so, so absolutely, yes. And um, yeah, no, just, just a great honour and to be able to deconstruct and expose mm. the bones, the DNA um, of, of our songs about this Kaupapa moving revolutions inside of our people. And you come from quite a large storytelling family, don't you, on the East Coast? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, um, yeah uh, strong haka background, hence the kind of haka soul kind of uh, tag and the, the style of music. Um, and, yeah, generations of haka. They, and my family, brothers and sisters, first cousins, just come off the kapa haka stage at Te Matatini with Te Whanau Apanui. So, yeah, strong background. Wow. Nice, nice. So all of you, were you really familiar with each other's music? Warren, were you familiar with everybody's music? Or did you do a little swat once you found out what you were doing? Both. You mm -hmm. know, so, I mean, like Such John mentioned... Such a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, we all know each other. We all know of each other, you know, because the music community in New Zealand's small but tight. What have you... you Fat Freddy, Freddy's yeah. Drop, Trinity yeah. Roots, yeah. Um, South Side Bushman. of Bombay, yeah, yeah, a little Bushman yeah, yeah. as well. I mean, yeah. you've, you've done a lot. Revolutions. Yes. Revolutions. Yeah. <laughs> That's a new band. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's just been my career for the last sort of two decades, and uh, I feel really privileged that I can, you know, be doing what I love, which is music, and yeah, um, yeah so far so good. And, and I heard a funny story just before on the break uh, that you were at one end of the world and why are you at the other end of yes, the world? Yes, and, and it's not like these two are sitting around in um, <laughs> Auckland either. Right. So it was at the end. Arc I was at the Arctic and Warren was in the Antarctic. Yeah. Wow. Rob was in um, Chile. Chile. And um, I was in John Peru. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we could hear him from where That's we were. Right. No, it's all inclusive, yeah. isn't it? Traveling. Uh, uh, Warren and I heard you're doing quite a bit of, you know, movie work, soundtrack work. Yeah, yeah. You know, what, what are yeah. you doing there, just, just quietly? Well, I've sort of, again, that's kind of part of the, well, my career as a musician. So it's, you know, I started off as, a, you know, I went through jazz school and form these bands but then you know as uh, get into autumn years <laughs> kind of I, I, re I really enjoy um, you know music for film and the music industry is so mm. wide now it's mm. not just about being in a band and getting famous and you know it's actually you've got all these other opportunities you know events touring um, television yeah TV yeah. well I guess <laughs> yeah. and I guess that's why this show is going to be so special because it, it is about you know what music can do to help heal the world really isn't yeah, it yeah. I, th I think it's timely because you know um, there's a lot of a feeling of helplessness out there but there's also when things are looking so bad it, it creates a kind of momentum mm -hmm. for change and mobilisation. So there's a lot of people thinking, you know, revisiting sort of values and yeah. um, a sort of trying to build a movement that's going to combat, you know, the kinds of things that John writes Reinstituting the role of the poet in society. Mm. I think you're right, actually. Artists. I think you're absolutely yeah. totally. right. Now, this Artists. tonight is opening in the, uh, in the Spiegel tent, so if it's a huge success, will we see this more? Will we see revolutions touring? I'd do it in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right on. Well, This yeah. is quite a nice, um, very small and um, mobile unit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a lot easier to work with than our big band. Yeah. yeah. They do eat a lot. <laughs> and quite messy as well. Carbo loading. <laughs> yeah. Tonight. That's brain food, isn't it? That's You're right. always That's thinking. Right. There's a lot Creative of food. Stuff going on. <laughs> Creative yeah. food. No, and, and you know, I, what, what would you want people to come and take away from this, Rob? Uh, I think just um, just to listen and to feel and to be present um, inside the messages of the songs, which I think will help.
help um, us uh, plan a really positive trajectory forward for our country and for the world. Yeah. And for you, Warren, I mean, you know, we've talked about your career and uh, what, what you're doing and why this is important to you, but how did yeah. you choose the songs that you were going to do? What was running through your mind when you did that? Well, I guess the kaupapa of revolutions to start with, because it is, you've got, you know, Lots of songs, they're like your children, you've got to cull them, yeah. you know, and pick oh, which songs. How do you do yeah, that? I know, I know. It's a bit painful. But um, for me, you know, when we're playing live, it's getting that connection. I mean, that's why I think the audiences, that's why we go to the music, mm -hmm. go to theatre, go to art, because we want to experience that connection. And um, like John was saying, you know, when those harmonies come in, you get the spine, you, you know, the hairs oh, on your yes. neck, you're yeah. standing up, and it's like, wow, and you're crying one minute and laughing the mm -hmm. next. And that's another thing, even though we're, it's, it's a more intimate setting, we're quite dynamic as well. So, you know, it'll, it'll get up there, but then down to a pin drop, you know, mm. and you'll be safe. What sated. do you want us to take away from it? Do you want us to be crying and laughing and... All of it. Getting up and having yeah. a dance, yeah. getting yeah. down and going, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, go on oh, that ride. To take away hope. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, yep. to think, to think that yeah. you can make a difference. Absolutely. One person, one community, you know, a group of people, we can make a difference mm. if we if we have a, have, a, have a common vision. And, and that's what I, that's my key thing. Well, that. it is such an honour sitting here with all four of you. The contribution that you've given to New Zealand music over the years is incredible. And here is something a little different. You're continuing to give. I, you know, I'm excited about tonight and I wish you the best of luck. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Thanks for coming Thank together. You. Thanks yeah. for having yeah. us. Thanks. Thank you. Moana, John, Rob and Warren will be performing the world premiere of Revolutions. You have to go and see this. It's part of the Auckland's Arts Festival tonight and tomorrow night at the Spiegel Tent. Tickets are available from Ticketmaster. Go get yours now before you miss out.